Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Fallout 76. My name is Camel, and today I'm going to show you where to find the Fosnacht Man Mask, which I am sure I'm mispronouncing. It's a Germanic word being pronounced by an Australian in a game set in West Virginia, and it's also spelt incorrectly in-game, so there's no way I can win this one. So I'm going with Fosnacht. Now rewinding for a second, you may have noticed in the documentary The Making of Fallout 76, the town of Helvetia was mentioned, a German-Swiss town in the middle of nowhere in West Virginia. It holds the traditional festival of Fasnacht, Fasnacht, whatever the hell it's called, in which they build and wear large creepy masks. Now in game, there are 10 unique variants of these Fasnacht masks. So far, I've only found this one. But if you do find the other ones, let me know where they are. And if you are into this kind of stuff, links to my other Fallout 76 videos can be found down in the description. Be sure to check that out along with my social media links. So to get this absolutely horrifying piece, we'll need to make our way to a place called Fort Defiance. On the map, it can be found right here where my character is currently standing. It's found in the southeastern side of the map and it's a long walk from anywhere. Now I will warn you, I came here at about level 14 and died many times. The Scorched outside ranged in level between 14 and 32. I managed to take them out, but then a Scorched Beast came and killed me again, and again, and again, and again, times 446, over and over. So be warned, you should definitely come here at level 20 plus, just so you don't waste your own time dying again and again. Now, if you're really stinging to get this mask, I'd suggest you just leg it inside of the building and forget about the stuff outside. As once we actually get ourselves into the building, we'll have enough to deal with in here. This place is jam-packed with ghouls. Again, around the same level range as the stuff outside, about level 14 to 32. Luckily, inside is Scorch Beast free. So I've already gone through and cleared out the building, but once we make it on inside, we'll want to walk to the end of this little room, turn to the right, and make our way all the way down this long-ish hallway. Then turn to the left, through these double doors, and continue on down the long hallway over this pile and see where that light is on the right. Once we get there, we want to turn to the right and head up the stairs to the second floor of the building. Once at the top of the stairs, head on straight ahead through the double doors, turn right, and this second door on the left, we want to walk into that room where we can see the creepy eyes of the mask peeking over the mattress on the floor. And here it is, the Fonsnacht Man Mask. There's also a straight jacket next to it if you want to look really creepy. Of course, you've made the effort, be sure to grab it. And don't let anyone beat you to it. If you come here with your friends, be like, hey, I wonder what's in here. Ha ha ha, I'm secretly running to the second floor. So now that we have it, let's check it out. It's an absolute monster of a mask. Sadly, it doesn't have any protective stats or anything like that, so it's purely a cosmetic piece, like the majority of the headgear in the game. But as we can see, it's a pale, rough, tallow fleshed giant caricature of a creepy ass mofo with a big red long nose that looks uh, multi-purpose if you catch my meaning. Sadly, during the beta I didn't get to mix and match this mask with many costumes, but I have to say it goes very well with the clown outfit. When people see me running over the hill dressed like the pint-sized Slash's dad, they can't believe their eyes. Multiple times I had groups of people stop what they were doing to stand around me in disbelief as to what they were seeing. So I'm very interested to hear what costumes you mix and match this mask with and what you think looks best with it. I'm also keen to hear your stories of stunning other players with your next level creeper aesthetic. There's nothing someone wants more than to be killed and teabagged by someone wearing this mask. And if this guy's smile doesn't make you happy, you're truly dead inside. Or maybe it's just me that's dead inside. But uh, don't forget, this is only one of 10 of these unique Fuzznacht masks, or Fuzznacht, whatever the f that word is. So if you do find the other ones, please be sure to let me know. I'm very interested to check them out.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for acquiring the unique Fuzznacht Man Mask. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out the other Fallout 76 videos that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now, down there in the old description, you can also find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you would like to support the channel, be sure to subscribe. Or if you'd like to do it in a more personal way, you can become a patron on Patreon or a sponsor of the channel right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy. So your support is most genuinely appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel and I'll see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.